Hello guys, welcome back to the channel or to the channel if you're new. I have gotten a, quite a few requests to explain the tool mod and give like a tutorial. Please keep in mind, I literally got tool mod this week, so the fact that people are asking me a tutorial is kind of crazy, but I did post a few videos on tools, so I will try and explain it in like a basic way. So this isn't going to go into advanced ways to use tool, this isn't going to go into anything crazy, it's just going to be how to download the mod and how to use the mod in a very basic manner. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need two mods. So to access these two mods, go to the link in my description, click my Ko-Fi CC and mods and then get it for free and you can download it or you can look them up or I will link them both in the description for easy access anyways. And basically all you have to do is you have to come and download them both and then when you download them they will come up in your mods folder and I don't have any CC in my mods folder at the moment because I'm working on my save file so I have just my basic things that I like to use while building and you can see I have Build, better build by and tool in here you need both if you want to be able to use tool in build mode just literally drag them across do not go into the folders do not pay create them in any subfolders literally just drag them across you'll see it here and that's literally all you do and then they're in your mods folder and then let's go into the sims and talk about it so when we're in here we need to go into game options and other and we just need to make sure that we have enable custom content and mods on and script mods allowed as well so i wanted to go into my save file and show you a few things that i've done with tool mods so you guys can get a grasp on things you can do with tool mods so tool actually stands for take objects off a lot that is their primary use of the mod but it also has other uses. You can scale objects, you can rotate objects, which is great for micro kind of movements, stuff like that. So if we come in here, you can see I've done a few things with tool mod. Add a bike there, add a basketball hoop here, some cars along the side of the road and this utility box here. And I'm going to show you how you can do all of this. So all you need to do, say you want this lounge chair off a lot for some reason, maybe because it's a pool you want it in a specific place all you have to do is click shift and t this will bring up the tool mod for you so you've got options which you can do certain things like toggle groups do all of that then you've got move and you can move it in very specific ways so all you have to do is click it so for move you just have to click like between a certain thing which is x and y so you can do one, two, and that will move it there. But what I like to do is I literally just click it anywhere and that will move it itself, even off lot. I find that's a lot easier, but if you're trying to get precise movements, you can enter the number instead. But I just like doing it that way. And then we have elevate, which is great. You can do negatives and positives. So positive will bring it upwards. That, And then if you want it down, you just do it negatively. So negative one, and then it will come back down. So that is that. And then there is a few other things. There is rotate, which is super self-explanatory. This is how I do like bikes falling over or certain things on walls and literally just rotate it. For, for example, you can see the access. This is going around this way so it's going to rotate there but if you want it different change the access and then if I click 90 degrees so 90 it's going to click go sideways so that's like all that you really need to know and then there's also scaling and scaling is literally just like click six and it's going to go very big just click shift t to get rid of it again but then there's just a few other things i wanted to talk to you about with like better build by and stuff for you to understand it because better build by does need to be used in order to do it through build mode so if you ever see a builder using tool they will have better build by as well because they need it in order for tool to work tool can be complicated to understand like very detailed things and it can be confusing at first i was very confused when i first downloaded it but now that i feel like i have it i feel like i'm never going to be able to not use it but if we go into better build by this option let me actually remove myself sorry if we go into better build by here we can see organize debug move objects on ignore unlock and deletion protection so i have organized debug move objects on and ignore unlock which means I always have debug on so if I go to show all you will see some of my things are debug and this is just great because it organizes things a lot better and kind of I don't know I feel like it works really well and I like it oh god <laughs> I'm just doing this like tool mod thing Thank you for the food. And then when you click one, it just takes the UI up a lot more. And then when you go into content, you'll see here, these are the last kinds of things that you can do with tool and better build by. 
So you can hide Maxis, you can have debug always on and live edit, and then you can also toggle custom content on or off. This is very useful because otherwise every time you use tool, you'll have to re-enter the move objects on kind of cheap. But if you have it toggled like that, it will just naturally always be on. When you click these, you just have to restart the game and then everything will work perfectly. And that is basically all of the basic things you need to know about how to use tool and better build by. You can watch more in-depth tutorials if you need some more in-depth help, but I think it's really useful to add a realism to the game and it's just a really fun mod to use. That is all guys. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe because I post Sims videos all the time. Bye!